Wow, this pawn looks really good. <gasps> what the fuck? Hey guys, back in with another video today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the pawns. And um, I've never seen it in previous videos before. But this is um the final form. This is like, I like it, how it looks and everything. All the fish are nice and healthy and everything's just striving. Um, this is the 300 gallon we got right here. Um, I'm going to show you guys. Look at all the lily pads. They're starting to bloom and stuff. They look good. I'm going to show you guys. going to shut off the pump. Show you what we're working with. Just got a FX6. This is where I keep all my food and everything like that. Just going to shut this off for a minute. And um, you guys will be able to see all the turtles and fish I have in there. Um, koi, goldfish, a couple of catfish, three turtles, big old sunfish. But yeah, no fishes. Um, since I've brought them out here, no fish has died. Um, they've just, it's just been nice and clean and clear waters for them. I'm trying to see if I can get you guys a turtle, something like that. They're pretty good at hiding, but I don't know, maybe if we can get lucky. Um, uh, the catfish are usually always swimming around. This does get pretty hot sometimes in the baking sun. So what I do is I will fill it up with um, ice cubes to cool it down. Because it does get pretty goddamn hot. Let's see if we go what we got in here. No. Like I said, they're pretty good. Oh, the hell is, oh that's an acorn. Damn. Oh, I don't know if you can get that. Look at this. I don't know if the glare. See the big old catfish? Uh, yeah, I got two of those in there. I've raised them since they were like this big. They were like, literally like, I, they were so, they were smaller than a quarter, I can tell you that. And I've had them for about a year, year and a half now. And yeah, they've been doing good, real good. All the um, lily pads is really starting to grow in now. That's um really good. But yeah, it looks like I can't find one out of the three turtles, which is really surprising. But uh, well, what are you going to do about it? But yeah, that's the update on this pond. Um, we're going to bring you guys over to the 120 gallon in a minute. All right, guys, bring you over the 120 gallon. This has a bunch of different plants and everything like that. This pond, I'm really happy with. It's really doing good. Got the two waterfalls going at all times. And um, all the different kinds of plants are just cool. This is exploding. Water, I was like, the water's always really clear. As you guys know, I got a couple of bass in there. Um, seven bass or something like that. And I was like, they're just all a bunch of little fish, but still a couple of guppies always swimming around on the top. And then some catfish and stuff. But I was like, really like how this pond is turning out. Looking really good. Now I'm gonna do a little leap. Now we have another, another friend in the pond. As you saw in the last video, he loves it. Put that out of your eye, man. He loves it. Put him in the water. You can see I got a sand area for him. He loves to burrow. He just burrows all day. He's really not a fan of the deep end, like deep end of the water. So he likes to hang out there and just hangs out right over on the shallow, not even, not even in the water most of the time. He usually is always dry, but he likes it. And um, yeah, I was like, this is um, I don't know. I was like, like I said, this is what I wanted. As you guys know, we had a guppy tank, but the guppy tank is gone for right now. It was a failure, and it just didn't do well. So I don't leave in the comments below. It's about 90 gallon thing. I don't know what we should put in it, but um, yeah, this is pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and um, I'll see you in the next one.